Congressman Tom Price facing questions from members of the Senate Finance Committee today as he looks to be confirmed as the next Secretary of Health and Human Services. Senator Orrin Hatch, the committee's chairman, criticized his Democratic colleagues for what he called their overly partisan treatment of Trump's cabinet nominees, all of them. I'm serious when I say that I'm worried about what my colleagues on the minority side are doing to the Senate as an institution. While the overriding sense of comedy and courtesy among senators has admittedly been in decline in recent years, I have never seen this level of partisan rancor when it comes to, de to uh, dealing with the president from an opposing party. Senate comedy. Well, joining us now, Congressman Chris Collins. He served as congressional liaison to the Donald Trump transition team. Congressman, great to have you with us. Orrin, always good. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, yeah, I, just good to be with you always, Lou. Yeah, you know, Orrin Hatch, uh, Senator Hatch is one of those guys. He doesn't, he doesn't wear people out by talking uh, just for the heck of it. Uh, he is complaining about this partisan ardor on the part led by, uh, what is it, uh, the, the, the Schumer clown. Uh, <laughs> he has, as uh, Donald Trump referred to him, uh, he has really hit a new low here. That's hard to do when, you're, when your predecessor was Harry Reid. Well, understand, uh, New York is New York, and boy, we're, and I'm from New York. We're a state unique upon ourselves. But there's no question uh, they didn't expect to uh, uh, be in the position they're in, in the minority, certainly not with the Republicans united, the House, the Senate, and the White House. And so this is anger, it's frustration, and we're seeing the childish uh, actions that would go along with that, including the partisan, absolutely terrible partisan uh, nature of some of these questions. A question which they're stating more as a fact, which is not at all. Uh, I think the nominees are just doing a phenomenal job deflecting this and staying on message. Uh, and I was very glad actually to see today more than ever the Republicans starting to come together to really defend uh, someone like Tom Price in particular. Mm -hmm. Really calling out this, the uh, other side for the partisan nature. I mean, they've and, been. Know, on, I'm glad to see that they've been unrelenting, Congressman, uh, on uh, prices, finances, uh, going even to one uh, stock, a medical device <laughs> stock, uh, where he made 300 bucks, and, and basically accusing uh, accused him of being Bernie, uh, Bernie Madoff. I, I, this is really. I, I mean, this is stuff beyond the pale. Uh, well, I, I, I like by Lou, most what people. The, I liked what the Wall Street Journal said in a quasi-editorial, and they said, if this is insider trading, he's sure doing a lousy job. <laughs> well, I guess that, you know, that would work as well. Uh, it, it, but Price, you think, will be uh, uh, confirmed, uh, oh, all absolutely. of the nominees at this point? Well, I think when we saw Marco Rubio and uh, Lindsey Graham uh, and John McCain come to the defense of Rex Tillerson, uh, if there was any concern, I would say that was the one I had some concern on. And when they've now fallen in line, I'm comfortable. All of these cabinet officials will go through with the 50, 51 mm -hmm. votes they have to have, if not all 52. Uh, thanks again. Let's remind everyone, Harry Reid's the one that eliminated the filibuster on presidential appointees other than the Supreme Court. And they're paying the price now that we'll be able to have all of these folks uh, confirmed. And so they delay it for a week. They put a hold on Rex Tillerson for a week. Uh, we can live with that. It, it shows how petty they're being. Uh, we're just going to move on. They're all going to be confirmed uh, pretty much in short order. I notice how much you enjoy reminding everybody who's responsible uh, for the simple majority <laughs> in, the, in the Senate. Can't help myself. Uh, let, let's turn to uh, FBI Director James Comey reports that he's going to be held over. Your reaction? Well, um, I know we've all had some concerns about Director Comey. Uh, you know, if I went back two years ago before some of this, these concerns raised, I thought uh, what a great pick he was as, as uh, FBI director. I will certainly trust, as we've seen the cabinet that uh, President Trump's put together, trust that he will be surrounding himself with individuals who he knows will give him good advice. Uh, and if Donald Trump is happy with uh, the advice that he knows he would get from Director Comey and wants to keep him on, then that's certainly his prerogative. I would certainly support that, mm -hmm. uh, as we've seen the other magnificent picks President Trump has made. So I'll leave that yeah. in the president's court and support him either way. And good for you, and uh, I, I think the country is right there with you.
Uh, l let's turn to Paul Ryan, who has not always been with as recently as a week ago, uh, the, the president. Uh, it, it, where is Paul Ryan now? Where, where is he uh, in his uh, partnership uh, with the president of the United States, uh, who is the senior partner by any definition? Well, I would put it this way, Lou. We know who the head of our party is. We know the reason we have unified Republican government for the first time in a very long time, and that's Donald J. Trump, our new president. And so out of respect for that and the, the, the record turnouts that Mr. Trump got, uh, Paul Ryan and our other leadership are looking to his administration, and clearly Mike Pence, Vice President Pence, is playing a key role in setting the agenda, setting the pace of the agenda, setting the priorities, and as uh, Paul Ryan indicated to us today in our conference meeting, they are all on the same page. Our 100, 200-day agenda we're going to be talking about. The president will be with us on Thursday in Philadelphia at our retreat. All the Republican senators and members of Congress will be there. We are united, and President Trump is calling the shots. We are falling in line. We're following his priorities, and we're communicating incredibly well. Well, uh, that is a news break and uh, a delight, I'm sure, for most Americans to hear. Uh, Congressman, always good to talk with you. We you appreciate too. it. You too, Lou.